Chad a strategic partner to the West and the United States in the fight against violence and extremism is going through a turmoil politically. This is the latest. The coup in Chad was started basically in April 2021 when the long-term serving president, three decades in power, Mohammed uh, Idris Debi was killed in the front lines by a rebel movement. And just after that, his death, his son, Mohammed Debi, and a group of officers took control of the country and suspended the constitutions. As part of the 18-month transitions, they announced serious negotiations with multiple rebel groups and a national dialogue that will def uh, define the content of the transition, including the Electoral Commission, Peace and Reconciliation Commission, and even the reform of the army, and many other reforms. Despite the, not the inclusive ambition of the national dialogue, major groups were left out. However, the, di the dialogue proceeded and s came out with some recommendations and resolutions, including a 24-month transition and the possibility of, current, of leaders of the current political transition to run for office. And that was a major departure from the promise made by the military at the beginning of the transition that they will not run for office. And that departure has created the tension, the political tension we witness today in the country, a political tension characterized by riots. One of those major riots in October 2020 uh, uh, led to the killing of more than 100 citizens and the jailing of more. In addition to doing research and informing policy, from the get-go, after the coup d'etat, we were invited and to the U.S. Embassy to engage with the civil society and the government to help them think through the national dialogue. Given our experience with national dialogue and the, cap and, uh, and the capability USIP has in that domain. So we had a series of meetings with the government and trainings with some institutions of uh, some organizations in the civil society and particularly women organizations as well. So we work with women organizations, work with uh, the government to help them design the national dialogue. We were not part of the decision making in the national dialogue. And we, uh, we continue to do research and develop policy options to inform the government in the transition as well as in the post dialogue situation. Chad cannot afford to miss the mark. Peace, security of its citizens of the sub-region of Central Africa are at stake. So what is needed now is for the leaders of the, trans the transition to signal their commitment to democracy, peace and prosperity in Chad. That will start, for example, by making sure that justice is done to, uh, to the victims of the October uh, 20th massacre. Number two, making sure that the civic space, they are not closing the civic space, that civic space is open and people can express, the Chadians can express themselves. It will be important to the international community, friends of Chad, to be with Chad as they go through this difficult journey.